Hi, it's Trang. Welcome back to my channel. It is my birthday month. Yay! <laughs> I survived 36 years still alive. I've been a little bit naughty because it is my birthday month. Mm. I broke my little bag band. E I can feel your judgment coming from across the screen. Hear me out. Y'all know I'm a healthcare worker and we in a pandemic. It's been really stressful, y'all. I work so hard, y'all. I even got ulcers. So let me see what my ulcers has bought me. This is the hunting season. The top handle bag in a size small. The color is pastel pink. This bag, actually, it's not that bad in price because I got it during the archive sale. I know I'm just justifying my irrational purchases but anyhow i don't know if archive sell mean that is a sample sale or what but the retail price for this bag was one thousand two hundred ninety five dollars during the archive sale it went down to four hundred dollars shipping was free for whatever reason they don't have tax on this so it was just flat four hundred okay now that i'm done justifying my purchases one reason why i decided to do a review is if you get it on a super sale like this off the hunting season website there is no return or exchange i will unbox it we will do a review the format of this video we're gonna look at the packaging the specs of the bag we're gonna see what fits inside i'm gonna do a couple outfits see what this bag can go with and overall we will sit together and see if my little splurge during the pandemic was worth it First off, let's look at the packaging. This is what literally came in the mail. I don't know if it's because it's the cell that they shipped it right in the box like this, or if inside this box, there's another box where the bag come in, because if the bag comes in just this box, then that's a uh, nightmare. Look at this, my God. Can you see the care <laughs> that this person put into packaging this bag? Look at the box. That's really, really bad. It seems hollow. I don't think there's a second box, but we shall see. Okay, this is a magnetic box. You guys tell me, is there a second box? Oh, there's no second box. Now, Hunting Season is an emerging designer. Oh, okay, looks like I opened this upside down. Look at this. It does have its own dust bag. That's the material of the dust bag it reminds me of a rice sack. I kind of like how they did the lettering of their brand. Elegant, simple, clean lines. Let's see the bag. Oh my gosh, look at the pink. <gasps> This is a really nice pink, you guys. I don't like bubblegum pink because I'm a little bit too old for that. And I don't like salmon, but this pink is really, really nice. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. This is really nice. This is real lizard online. The stitching seems to be very space apart and that's how it is in real life. If I were the designer, I would actually make the stitching closer together. These wide stitching makes it look kind of cheap. If they are closer, I think it would look more classy and just high end. Let's measure this bag. The reason I want to measure it is because every website that I've been at lists a different measurement for a size small. Let's see how they are measuring this. It is actually 7.25 at the bottom. On the top, it is actually 6.25. Hmm, interesting. So this would be a big deal if uh, you have a big phone to know <laughs> if it fits inside or not. The phone has to be able to squeeze through the top. That's why you shouldn't go off the measurement of the bottom of the bag. In real life, it is six and a half. The depth of the bag on the bottom is about 2.75. Because it's a trapezoid shape, on the top, it is only about 1.75. It's about an inch from the top. Can you get your wrist in? Uh, no. <laughs> it is strictly a handheld bag. You can hold it like this, I suppose, or like this, or like this, but yeah, no. You cannot put your wrist through this bag, especially in a size 
small. It does not have a pocket in the back. It has four feet. This is a really, really cute bag. Wow, look at this. I love it. This is suede lined, so it's leather lined. Same thing on the inside. It is so structured, you guys. I love a structured bag. This is the strap for it. The strap is 42 inches long. On the strap, you're going to see a hole number one right here and a hole number two. You're also going to see on the the other side two long metal studs there are two loop buckle right here on the bag you would slide the strap through this loop like so this wraps around the side of the bag and around till you come to the other end and here you are there you go so on that setting you have a strap that is for your shoulder the drop from the top of the bag to the top is about 14 and a half inches. There is a second option if you guys are uh, wanting to crossbody the bag. If you need the bag to be longer, I would actually slide this out, wrap it around, slide this guy in first, and then pull it. Let's see what fits inside this very small bag. I have my keys and a wallet in one place. This is just an LV six key holder. Let's see if it'll fit. It will. That's almost half of the bag gone. Now let's see if our phone fit. The diameter is about 2.75 and it is five and a half inches tall. It fits in exactly vertical. Let's see if it fits in horizontal. The bag is new so it's very stiff you guys. It fits in exactly horizontal. However, I would have to do some minor adjustment to the bag because of the trapezoid shape. The opening is kind of small. Realistically, I wouldn't put this horizontal because then it's way down there. Hand can barely get in to reach your phone. I wouldn't do it. But as far as it fitting, yes, it does fit in there. Let me go back to a more practical setting. I will put my keys vertical like so. I found in. We still got half of the bag all on the side. I would drop in a lipstick. Hand sanitizer because you know what? This bag, the capacity is so small. We're playing Tetris here. For those of you who like to touch up and bring a lot of makeup with you, you can add a compact. And then last but definitely not least, can't get into any place without a mask. Will it close? There we go. Once it close the magnetic closure is pretty good look nothing's dropping out so compact so cute let me do a full body shot so you can enjoy this baby in all its glory this is the bag at the longest shoulder setting if I wanted to wear it as a crossbody. I am 5'2". If you are taller than me, there is no way you can crossbody this bag. The only reason I can get away with this and not the Coco Handle Mini is because the handle on this bag is so close to the bag. There's only about an inch. It doesn't clash with your body or make it uncomfortable. It's at a really nice level for me to wear as a crossbody, especially because I have my little boy Hayden who's reaching for things. So having it right at my hand level is great. Most of the time I might not have on a blazer, so it will be even better. Overall, not a bad length for a crossbody if you're petite. Now I have have the straps on the second hole which brings the height down to about 14 and a half this is how it looks as a shoulder bag it is so adorable you guys it is really really cute I can totally see myself wearing this to weddings party basically to all the event that we can't go to right now last but definitely not least is the handheld version look how cute this is if you wear something with a little bit of pink wow Ah, look, it makes it pop. Nice. What do you guys think? I really like the color, like a muted pink almost like um, blush but more with a hint of orange in it you don't want to be too flashy or loud in a crowd this is a perfect for lack of a better word mature pink more subdued a little bit more classy now we come to the part of the video where i tell you my humble opinion about whether this bag is worth it this is a lizard skin bag most lizard skin bag are actually quite expensive if you're looking at chanel it's gonna run you over eleven thousand dollars 
dollars. Same thing with Dior, and even more expensive when you go up to Hermes. So if you are going to reduce the price by one tenth, then of course the quality has to suffer somewhere. And in this circumstance,、uh, they still use lizard. However, the lizard skin is a little bit of lower quality as well as their packaging. I am very、uh, disappointed in the packaging. You know, like the presentation is very important. It shows how much you value your product, and if you don't value enough to pack it carefully and send it and present it in a nice way, it just decreases the value of the bag, in my humble opinion. In terms of craftsmanship. I have already said I am not a fan of this huge stitching. It looks a little bit cheap to me. Not something I would expect once you pass the thousand dollar mark. I have actually seen Coach bag with better construction than this bag. The price is reasonable at one thousand two hundred ninety five. However, I personally would not pay that much for a brand that is emerging. I'm always thinking on the flip side. What if something happened? Maybe I need to sell the Bag. This bag, if you looked at it, even brand new, it can sometimes goes on sale. In my case, four hundred dollars. Sometimes six hundred dollars. Sometimes seven hundred dollars. Basically, there is no way that you can make your money back. You are lucky if you make half of your money back. Get this brand. If you are into like this luxurious type of handbag and you know you're gonna keep it forever, or if you sell it, that you're okay with losing maybe up to eighty percent of your money. Get this bag if you can get it on sale. To me, it's worth it. However, at full price, I'm gonna have to pass. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of video, honest reviews, please consider subscribing and liking my video. I'll see you in the next one.